Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to lag less in World at War. As you can see I got it right here. And uh, yeah, uh, there's there's a lot of ways to increase uh, your frame rate. Well, the obvious one is to lower your settings. And um, the best way is to upgrade your hardware. Like I have a really shitty computer. I'll show you my uh, yeah, I have that. It's actually rated at 2.4 gigahertz. And my graphics card is really shit too. Um, it's a pretty old system that I have. Plus, it's on a laptop, so it doesn't help. First thing you're gonna have to do is you wanna go to this website. Back, ba bash and slash. Well. I'll put it in the description. Um, and you want to, at the top of the website, you want to scroll down till you see this. Download. It's a config file. Click on it. I already got it here, so it doesn't care. So, yeah, you got, uh, your, you got your, your config right here. Then, second thing you want to do is go in your app data folder, you want to go into your user that you are, app data, focal, Activision, COD WoW, players, profiles, and your profile that you're using, your active profile, I should say. And you see your config file right here, double, double click on it. And you're gonna see a bunch of stuff. Not not like this cause I already got it installed. So you can close that. So what you wanna do is no not that. That one. We'll do control A and delete. So you get nothing. Next thing you wanna go on this. Control A. Control C for copying or you should just right click and copy. Do this and control V or or paste. I'm gonna see that now. Second thing before you save, um, what you want to do is um, I'll provide this bind in the description. What it does, it puts well, it says Fulbright, it pu puts it in Fulbright so you get a really good frame rate boost. So you want to copy it. Select it, copy, I'll put it at F10, enter, V, just remove the slash right there, and uh, put F10 instead of F6. Now, what you want to do is you, s you save, and um, yeah, so now you save. I won't save because it's gonna, it won't, no save. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, other steps is gonna be in game, so I'll see you then. Alrighty then. So you're in game. I, I did put it in um, in screen in the window mode. You want to put it in wait. Let me put console. Same option. Console. I'm a bit lagging because. Um, if you want to put it in the window mode with our uh, full screen, I think, yeah. Full, full screen, full screen, yeah, and zero. That's going to be full screen. Um, and then when when you did when you do that, that uh, you want that vid that restart. So it's gonna close the window and put it in window mode. And I don't recommend you doing this when you're having a mod. When you you have a mod, like this you like. I'm in single player right now. And yeah. Now when you're, I'm gonna show you in custom zomb and zombies. It's just simple. Uh yeah. When you you wanna go in your graphics options, and you wanna put this at. Well, video mode, the lowest as possible. And everything to no are low. Off, no, no, no. 
tiny because then it's gonna lag. Uh, yeah, apply. Um, and you might if you change the video mode, uh, the game might not respond. It it happened to me. So when the game doesn't respond, you want to go go in uh, your task manager, and just end process. Open it, then it's gonna ask you to open it in safe mode. Say yes, and then it's gonna be okay. Um, then you wanna go into texture settings. And, uh, by default, I think it's automatic, but in bilinear, and then texture quality low manual and everything low. And that's what I use, and it works quite a lot. And put the console just for gonna help a bit so um, let me load up a map solo I'll put Therese. Um yeah I'll show you in zombies cuz multiplayer I might lag a lot more and uh, oh right forgot I'm gonna put my this there I go I use fraps for uh, for mainly for recording but now I've using hypercam for because I don't want to have a huge file and uh, this just could uh, yeah um, those those settings those the config file that you did might not work for you if your computer is not strong enough to play the game it won't be able to run it You see the frame rate dropping. Yeah, frame rate's pretty low right now. So you can see it's pretty laggy. Uh, F1. That just changes the FOV. You don't need to change the FOV. Just personal. Then F2. Can help a bit. But don't press F3. Cause that's gonna gonna change the a lot of stuff. Five. And the other, the other, the other binds are just useless. And then, the last button you press is F10. Boom. Now you see the, my frame rate is a lot higher than it used to be. And that is the magic of not lagging. And yeah, I'm still recording. Uh, sorry, I, I wanted to check if I was still recording because I get a really good and you might this might happen or it will happen you no know, when you get under 20 frames and you get over you might have a, a huge speed boost uh, you might be speed hacking you might think you're speed hacking but you're not it's just the game itself so a uh, good uh, oh shit no it's super slow to reload just make all these, these zombies. No, under 20 frame rate. Frames, you get over. Everything's super fast. So, that's, it is normal. Don't worry, it's not the game is glitched or you're speed hacking. It is, it's made like that. So, yeah, this also works in uh, multiplayer. Um, wait, let me show you. But I'll show you in multiplayer how to use it in multiplayer. Uh, wait, let me. I'll get to everything and then I'll record back. I'll show you. Alrighty. Um, what you want to do is go back to your your file, your profile thing, players profile. That and you're gonna have another config file. Config dot under slash mp. What you want to do is you want to take your the same config. I, that's what I did. You take the the same config that that config file, and put it in the config to score MP. That's what I did, and it works. Believe me. And once that's done, you can close everything and go back. Go in multiplayer, and I'll show you in a minute. Well, I'm back in multiplayer and. You can see I'm in multiplayer, and um, the only thing that you need to know before you install the config is that 
you're gonna have to bind everything back. Uh, let me show you controls like uh, move. Like this is gonna be unbound, well, just like that, unbound. And it did happen to me, and uh, yeah, everything's gonna be unbound. And uh, since we're in multiplayer, and you use your config or single player config, the vote and the chat buttons control sorry are gonna be unbound it's normal it is normal you want to bound un bound sorry you want to bound everything back like you want not not the F buttons like the like F5 for example you don't want to put those because it's gonna mess everything up so I don't know you could put like O or P or whatever Whatever you want. Oh, for sake. Um, yeah, you want You can put anything that you want. So I'll just start a new server on. What map did I use? The hangar. Why not? And uh, it's basically the same thing. You'll see, yeah, I'm not responding. It's okay, it's normal. Okay. Um, it's basically the same thing. You'll see a huge frame rate boost. And if you're, if this doesn't work, then I don't know what to say. Just change your computer, man. Because if your computer can't run that, it means it's pretty old. Already mine is pretty old. And um, just... Cause you'll see it's pretty old. Cause it has, I think it's um, it has Windows Vista installed. So, you'll see the benchmark, like the the big the yellow button. It's gonna be ten. Oh, increases a bit. It's mainly ten. Okay, F1. If you if you want to change FOV, you can choose that. F2, but don't pass F3. Or five and F F ten. Huge frame rate boost, right? Now it's playable. Of course, I'm recording, so it messes everything up. But you'll see the graphics are shit. Like this is water. That's water. Why can't I? Wait! 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 I did something wrong. Wait, now it works. Well, this is water. You can see. And yeah, it, it's not the best graphics in the world, but... Hey, it works, right? So, um... I hope you enjoyed, and um... Leave a comment down below. And uh, every, every link, everything is going to be in the description. And uh, yeah, see you next time, I guess.